Hey guys, um, you seem to be enjoying these uh, video blog things I'm doing. So I plan on doing a little bit more in between other episodes being uploaded. Uh, it is 3 a.m. Uh, on January 17th. It's my wife and my daughter's birthday. Happy birthdays, respectively. Congratulations on leveling up the pair of you. Um, a lot of things have actually been emailed to me uh, uh, as potential subjects for the next Pixel podcast and for the next Politically Incorrect podcast. And unfortunately, uh, with Grim having his issues and whatnot, I can't do the podcast this week. So what I've decided to do is hold off on doing the podcast until Grim gets here. And so that's what we're doing. So first and foremost... One of the main subjects that someone wants me to talk about, and I'm not going to say who, but someone, they want me to talk about the whole in God we trust on money. This is my stance on this. Now, I know this is going to sound a little bit like an oxymoron because I am wearing a, a cross, okay? Um, this cross was my great-great-grandfather's. It's been in my family for almost five I'll be the fifth generation to hold this cross. It is made of pure silver, including chain. It is worth fucking shit tons of money. And I'm not selling it. This is my prized possession. Next to some of my, ma my magic cards that I found out were actually pretty fucking expensive. Looking at you, I'm getting that thing's worth like 250 bucks right now. But anyway. I am not a man of God. I am an atheist. I used to be a person of God, but I'm not anymore. What changed me was the Bible. Any book that condones slavery, the persecution of women, or the persecution of any person, period, or restricts you in any dietary form, is not for you. It's that simple. I don't care if you're a uh, a follower of the Quran. I don't care if you're a follower of the Holy Bible. Regardless of what testament it is. And that's another thing right there. Why is there so many different testaments of the same bloody book? Do you see what I'm saying? Why, why is there so many testaments of the same bloody book? Old Testament, New Testament. The Jews have their version, but they're not Christians. Yet Jesus was a Jew. Answer that, Christians. Morons. Look, at the end of the day, back on subject. The whole in God we trust put on money. It was not there circa to 1950. It was not on any currency circa to 1950. It wasn't even in your pledge of allegiance until 1951. Something that not even Americans actually fucking know. Why is it on your money now? Simple. One word. Communism. There. It was put on your money. It was put on your money. It was put in the Constitution. In, in your Pledge of Allegiance, sorry. Because of communism. Because of the Cold War. Because the President and the Fucking everyone else was so afraid that communism was going to run rampant in America and we need to get the population together and nothing quite gets the population together quite like Jesus. Religion is the only control for mass people. It's that simple. I'm going to piss off a lot of my religious friends right now, but... Here goes. Look, I don't give a shit what you believe in. I don't care if you believe in Cthulhu. I don't care if you believe in Joe Pesci. I don't care if you believe in the flying spaghetti monster. I don't fucking care in what you believe in. Don't enforce what you believe in on me or others. It's that fucking simple. It even says so in your own fucking book, Christians. Do not worship my name in false churches. There is no churches of God other than yourself. 
That's what it fucking means, you stupid dick. But, getting back on topic. What do I feel about it being removed from money? It's about fucking time. Where is your separation of church and state? Something your founding fathers openly fucking wanted. If it's printed right on the currency that your government fucking uses, there is no separation between church and state. Why is it that a atheist man has to put his hand on a Bible and be sworn in when he's giving testimony in a court of law when he doesn't believe in the fucking Bible? I've had to do it. I've only looked at the judge and said, I won't do it. The judge literally accused me of being a Satan worshipper and told me that if I don't do it, he'll hold me in contempt. How's that caring about my beliefs? Looking at you, Judge Johansson. It's why you're not a judge anymore. It's why you retired. No, you weren't retired. You got forced out because you fucking kicked a hornet's nest saying that gay people shouldn't have a right to fucking adopt children. Really? Fucking really, you hypocrite? Oh, I'm coming for you, man. I've got a personal lawsuit set aside. I've got a lawyer lined up and I'm coming for you. And you know exactly why I'm coming for you. Anyway, that aside. How do I feel about in God we trust on our money? I think it's stupid. I think it's should have been removed fucking ages ago. It is a relic of a past time. And I do mean relic of a past time. We shouldn't have had it in the first place. Okay? We, we just shouldn't. Get rid of it. Scrap it. Just fucking get rid of it in God we trust. Fuck God. I don't trust God. Why trust a fucking deity when you yourself do all the work and you give him the praise? I'm sorry, did Jesus grab that fucking pigskin and run that 80-something yards in the last fucking two minutes and get that fucking touchdown so that your kicker can get that fucking, it's good! No, he didn't, did he? No, you fucking did it. Wake the fuck up. Stop praising a stupid fucking fluffy cloud for all of your good deeds and stop blaming the fucking fluffy cloud for the fact that you hate someone else. Oh, my God's dick's bigger than your God's dick. No, you're both limp dick little motherfuckers, okay? Plain and simple. If you're killing in a deity's name, you're not doing that deity any fucking good, are you? That fucking simple. And that's the end of it. So, in God we trust? No, sorry. No. It needs to be removed. End of. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, hit the like button. Share it and all that fun jazz. Until then, guys, take care. And I'll see you in the other one.